Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Codex Strikes Back on the Sony PlayStation 1. I'm the Sheep Sheep and Daniel. Today we're going to take care of Night Fight, the last jungle level of the game. So, as you can tell, we're actually, we are very close to the end now. we got three more levels left. This one, the next level is going to be in this video as well, and the finale. So, let's just keep on moving. And it's got that, the last appearance of the also remember memorable jungle music. And just like the uh, final hidden level of the game, it, ha it has the disc little gimmick where you have to get pick up the flies, you know, the fireflies, and traverse the level with them. Now, um, I think this is actually a little bit easier than the first, you know, than the secret level of the game, so... Probably because the secret level is probably meant to um, be completed after this, so it was designed to be harder. But anyway, we just need to continue moving through these. Remember, the pits are your biggest threat, so go through them. But first things first, we have a death route to take care of. Now, as any other death route in the game is, you know, you know how they go. Basically, run through the death route, try not to get killed, all that usual nonsense. I probably should have mentioned there was a death route at the start of the video, but you know. Anyway, um, at the very end of the death route there are two boxes, but fortunately we can actually backtrack to get those boxes. So um, there's this death route gem. So what we're going to do now is going to do the age-old tactic of killing ourselves. Uh, because now we need to go the other pathway to get hold of the boxes and stuff. So yeah, we'll go to the next pathway, then backtrack a little bit to the death route where we got the gem and get the last two boxes in that route. So a very simple, very easy little thing to go through. Although, be careful of this series of crates by here. They tend to be a bit uh, glitchy. Like that. Okay, and I'm back. So yeah, I don't know what causes that glitch. It's I don't know if it's in the digital versions or any revisions of this game, but it's in my original copy PS1 version of the game, so which is the version of the game I'm playing right now. So if um, anybody knows the cause of that glitch, feel free to let me know. So how to get to basically avoid that glitch, you basically need to do a high jump to hit the boxes. So it's no big deal. I mean, it's a bit of an annoyance, but it could have been worse. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of which, the pits in this level are extremely difficult to find in comparison to the last one. And, um, time to go into this bonus room by here. Now, as with the last bonus room, well, actually, as you would guess, go a bit further into the bonus room than you would wa initially want to, because we need to grab hold of the boxes first to make sure that, um, well, to make sure that we can go as fast as we possibly can in this without the bug leaving us, which is a very, very common issue in this game. Oh yes. So, basically you need to dodge the bug and get these boxes in particular first, because those boxes in particular are the really, really annoying ones that can really mess you up. Speaking of which, uh, do very perfect slides underneath those nitro crates, because obviously, <laughs> nitro is bad. I mean, it's not the good kind of nitro that goes in cars that boosts you forward. Oh, no, 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 this stuff disintegrates you, so... I think we kind of gathered that from... Okay, good, I thought my game crashed. We, I, get, I think we kind of gathered that already. Anyway, let's just move on forward throughout the level, dodging any nitro crates and pits that come in the way. And this is actually where the death route leads off, so let's just run backwards a little bit. Be very careful, there's pits everywhere, and, um... As you can guess, your firefly doesn't last forever, so you need to really rush to get to the boxes to knock them out, so... Yay. Okay, there we go, and we're back, moving up the death path, so... Here's the firefly, let's just grab this, so we can see the pits that I just ran straight into last time. Now this wall, you'd think you'd be able to jump over it, but you can't, so let's just move onwards. We're getting pretty close to the very end of the level, I think, so um, let's just tr stroll along with it, shall we? Just be careful. Also, n nice attention to detail I didn't, I didn't really bring up during the Road to Ruin levels. During levels where it's night time out, a lot of your enemies will actually be possums, and as people should know, possums are actually nocturnal creatures, so I thought it was a nice little touch that they did. Anyway, there's this uh, level second gem, so let's just get going into the next 
I think the next level is actually the next rocket level, so, you know, jetpack stage, so that should be fun. Yeah, it is. Pack Attack, I think it's called. Pack Attack. Isn't that a name of a show and screw attack? It could be, it could be. I don't, I don't really watch, I don't really stay with that, so it's going to Pack Attack. As soon as I conquer this, this dreaded step. Chris on a bike. My one weakness, a tiny little step. How well Crash Bandicoot surrounded this time. Anyway, time to do our zero grav flighty thingy. Also, you, you will have to get used to the controls of this pretty quickly because the final boss of the of the game actually you need you will need to know how to fly to actually beat him. And um, to be honest, the final boss of this game he isn't much he isn't much to oh god he isn't that big a deal. Um, we'll see about him when we actually get to him, but trust me, he's pretty much a pushover. So let's just keep moving onwards, dodging all the tomatoes of death and the uh, electrical wires. Oh god, what a shocking turn of events. There we go, we got past them. That actually took quite a bit to do in, surprisingly. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh god, that's... I think these are probably the least fleshed out levels in the game though, if I am to be perfectly honest, but I think that's primarily due to them being at the very end of the game, so as they probably at this point of development going. Alright, so we got pretty much everything done. What do we do for the last one? Make a nice gimmicky level, alright then. But they probably didn't have the time to really flesh it out. It's not like it's bad or anything, the controls are actually very good considering I think this is the first time I ever seen a level a level done like this in in a game like this. So you know, in a 3D platformer, I mean. So eh, I think they did a good job. All all things taken for granted. Anyway, just spin this guy again. Be careful of him. Even though it looks like he wants a hug, he doesn't want a hug. If you go to give him a hug, you'll be uh, greeted with an electrifying experience, and not in a good way, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Speaking of which, they're going a bit nuts with these cables. To be honest, these uh, electrical cables are going to be the uh, biggest threat in the entire stage, so watch out for them. They will. I'm not even. I'm not even messing around. They will mess you up if you give them a chance. So, uh, fortunately, I got myself an Akuaku mask, so it should be fine from here on. on. Oh my sweet Jesus! Okay, run, 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 run! Fly, 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 fly! All right, do you want some of me? You want some of the crash, son? Well, spin! Oh, thank god, I thought I mistimed that. That wouldn't have been fun for me. Probably would have been fun for the viewers, though. You know, you guys watching this. But, yeah, final stretch of the game. Can't wait. It's LPS, uh, well, for you guys, the LPS hasn't been going on for too long. Like, it's gonna be 14 parts in total, I believe, this LP will be, so. Two weeks for you guys. Gonna be about a, a, a bit longer than that for me. So, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed the LP. LP and uh, oh my God, nitros, nitros everywhere. Ugh. I think th I think in Crash Three they sort of calmed down with the nitros. So when I get to that LP, it'll probably be a bit of a break from the gr dreaded green boxes of terror. But then, it could, then again, I could be wrong, because it's been a long, long time since I played Crash 3 last. So my memories in that game are a little bit fuzzy. Anyway, with that, that's this stage done. We got the gem. It's time to move on next time to the finale. The next part is going to be the ending of the game. So, let's just do our dance. Or not do the dance, actually. No, we'll do the dance last time. It's the final part, so yeah, we'll show off then. So next time when we return, we'll be taking on Spaced Out. Now, when we do take on Spaced Out, if for you, those of you playing along, make sure at this point you have all the colored gems collected. If you go to the start menu, you can actually see the colored gems in the little gem place by here. So make sure you got all of them at the ready, because Spaced Out requires you to have all of the colored gems in order to get the last gem of the game. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it. Like, comment, and video. I'll catch you all next time. Bye.